What's going on everybody, Respawn Gentleman here. So with the new update came some Craftmaster updates, which are super, super awesome. So uh, here we are with Vincenzo in the Bazaar. Uh, a couple things here. So in the Buy tab, you can now have the resources. So any of the craft parts, instead of having their own tabs. So all of the blueprints you haven't purchased, as well as craft parts are gonna be all in one tab, which is nice. Uh, you have the upgrade tab is still the same. Uh, but now we have this craft weapons tab which i talked about briefly in uh my patch notes video we'll kind of go into more detail here basically there are blueprints located all over the map um i know of about 16 15 or 16 of them so far uh, once i know all the locations i'll have a video showing every single one uh, so don't worry about that that will be coming soon uh, but basically the one you kind of get for free is a signpost axe. Everybody gets this one automatically, so you don't have to find this one. And it starts at a level three, and then you just kind of upgrade it a couple times. But basically, this allows you to have a blueprint for a weapon that you can craft anytime you want from the craft master which is really cool i like that they did this granted for a level nine character or a character who's at their legend levels and things like that uh, these weapons are not going to be super useful um, however if you are a lower level character maybe it's your first time playthrough with the game or if you started a brand new save and you're starting from scratch this is actually really really helpful because you can get these weapons that will be a lot stronger than most things you can find in the game at the moment and just really do lots and lots of damage um, for kind of whatever you happen to be at in the world so this is really nice you'll have this option to craft things um, until you're able to find better gear and like I said, there's there's about 37 Roughly at least according to the thing that's right behind me um, But there's a, there's a lot that you'll be able to add into the game uh, with events and things that add more blueprints and things like that so um, This was really really cool. I'm glad they added this another kind of thing That's not necessarily with the craft master, but it's something some kind of related is the fact that now you can dismantle your uh, weapons so if you have any extra weapons you don't want anymore rather and you like maybe you have like me where you get tons of money so selling it is pointless um then you can actually just dismantle it by using whatever the option is and it gives you kind of whatever craft part i got scraps for it um i've only ever gotten scraps for testing this out but it's another way of getting rid of stuff and getting something back um, so it's really nice that they added that option. There's still no way to remove mods from weapons, unfortunately. I really hope that they add that at some point. And there's also no way to repair weapons without the correct charm, so hopefully they do change that at some point because that would be super, super helpful for a lot of people out there. And uh, quick little thing in case you didn't know, two-handed weapons can now have full uh, mods put on them, so you can do that now before they didn't have that ability and now they do which is super awesome and how you get things like this rose's axe i was showing one handed before but this rose's axe is two handed and it has 909 damage um it was a base of 731 um i've seen someone mention something as high as 922 um, after putting mods on it so this thing can be absolutely insane with how much more damage you can do now that they have mods on two-handed weapons if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more Dying Light content, make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.